Tonight, the scramble is on to mitigate the fallout from the North Carolina gubernatorial candidate Mark Robinson's latest scandal. It is a story that continues to make headlines here at home and really across the country. CBS 17's Greg Funderburg is live for us tonight in Raleigh with that. Greg. You know, Rod, you know, I'm standing outside the governor's mansion here in downtown Raleigh, and this is the place where Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson hopes to call home next January. But today, I talked to a number of voters on both sides of the aisle, and it seems like many people are really just mixed on this, mixed, mixed emotions, rather, on this latest scandal. We are staying in this race. Republican Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson is resisting calls to suspend his campaign as people here at home and across the country read about his latest scandal. What Timing's a little suspicious, but you know, that's politics. That's what they do. My first reaction was, was laughing. Um, <laughs> I laughed out loud, literally, and immediately texted my wife and said, you're not going to believe this mess. We caught up with some voters Friday afternoon at the barber shop in Cary. It was wild that he did those type of comments on a uh, uh, X-rated form. A CNN report Thursday highlights messages that tied Robinson to the porn site Nude Africa more than a decade ago. The report says he referred to himself as a black Nazi, supported reinstating slavery and liking transgender pornography. Yeah, definitely. The stuff he says is definitely shocking, um, especially coming from one of us. And the comments may be shocking for some, but others... Um, I think what people do in their personal life is their personal life. Lori Brown says she's a Hispanic and supports Robinson on most issues. I agree with some of his views and some things I wish he'd kept to himself. Lieutenant Governor Robinson has denied the allegations and some voters believe it's politically motivated. I think it's scandalous. Um, Mark Robinson has always said that he speaks to his values and his values do, do not align to what was he's been accused of. But when asked if he should drop out of the race... It's too late for him. I'll keep on going at this point. And as the race continues, some voters expect even more twists and turns before we get to Election Day. If they're true, it's not good. I would lose respect. But I also know all the politicians on both sides have <laughs> probably a lot of skeletons in their closet that we don't hear about, you know. As you can imagine, many of the voters I spoke to today said they're mixed on this issue. But also in our CBS 17 megaphone poll today, we asked voters, have the last 24 hours really changed how you are going to vote in the election come November 5th? 76% said no, and 24% says yes. Now, of course, say yes, rather. You can go to our website, CBS17.com. You can vote in that poll tonight. And again, we'll have more on this story as the day is coming as we lead up to Election Day. Reporting live in Raleigh, Greg Funderburg, CBS 17 News. All right, great. Thanks so much. We appreciate it.